Welcome to the Double Tree Schools tutorial on how to insert CSS. When a browser reads the stylesheet, it will display the document according to the information in the stylesheet. But there are three ways of inserting style. External stylesheet, internal stylesheet, and inline style. An external stylesheet is a stylesheet stored in a file. This is ideal when the style is used by many pages. With an external stylesheet you can change the look of an entire website just by changing one file. The correct way to link to a stylesheet is with a link element placed in the head section of the page. Set the rel attribute to stylesheet, the type attribute to text CSS and the href attribute to the URL of the style you want to use. You must include the link element in every page you want to use the style in. Here is an example of an external style sheet. Here you can see there are styles for the background color and the color and margin of the H1 elements. An external style sheet file like this can be written in any text editor like Notepad and should only include CSS code and it must be saved with a .css file extension. Now an internal style sheet should be used when setting the style for a single document. You define the internal styles in the head section of the HTML page inside a style tag. Here you can see styles for background color and the color and margin of the H1 per element. We can change the background color like this. Inline styles are set directly on the tag you want to style. This loses many of the advantages with the style sheet since you are mixing content and presentation. You should use this method sparingly. You can see that the style is set directly on the relevant element using the style attribute. You set the color and margin for this h1 element. You can change it like this. If a style has been set for the same selector in different style sheets, the values from the most specific style will be used. For example, our external style sheet, mystyle.css, which we saw earlier, has the following properties for the H1 selector. Color navy and margin left 20 pixels. Now assume that an internal style sheet has set the color to orange for the H1 selector. What will happen if we use both these style sheets on the same page? The external style sheet had the color of this element set to navy, a dark blue color, and a left margin of 20 pixels. But the text has inherited the left margin from the external style sheet, but replaced the color with the one specified in the internal style sheet. So multiple styles will cascade into one. You can specify styles directly inside an HTML element or inside the head section of an HTML page or in an external CSS file. But how do we know which style will be used when there's more than one style specified for an HTML element? Generally speaking, we can say that all the styles will cascade into a new virtual style sheet, where the browser default has the lowest priority, then the external style sheet, then the internal style sheet, and inline style has the highest priority. So an inline style will override a style defined inside the head tag, or in an external style sheet, or a browser default value. In this page, we have set the background color in line directly on the body element, and then internally 
in the style tag and in an external style sheet. Let's see how it works. The background color showing now is a light cyan, specified inline directly on the body element. If we remove that, the background color specified in the internal style sheet will show. If we remove that, the background color specified in the external style sheet will show. If we remove that, the browser default will show. Let's set some of these styles again. Earlier, I said that internal style sheet has a higher priority than external style sheet. This isn't always the case. If the link to the external style sheet is placed after the internal style sheet, the external style sheet will override the internal style sheet, like this. This is useful to know, but it's not how CSS is normally used. And this concludes our tutorial on how to insert CSS. Thank you for watching.